Sure. Uh, my name is Nate Harrison. I'm an artist and academic. Uh, I teach at the School of the Museum of Fine Arts at Tufts University, which is in Boston, Massachusetts. Would you please tell us about your uh, movie or documentary? What is it called and what is it about? Sure. It is called Pour le Peuple, which is French for For the People. It is uh, sort of details the controversial history of a uh, sculpture, the first public art sculpture uh, commissioned by the National Endowment for the Arts, which is the sort of the federal arts and culture agency in the United States. It's sort of about the, the very first public art commission by the NEA. Uh, it was a sculpture by uh, the American sculptor Alexander Calder. It just sort of traces that kind of controversial history of its installation. Okay, so we just checked your movie, and as we saw at the very last, there was a message uh, for for your wife, we believe. Can yes. You tell us your story about like the ties. Sure. My my, I did dedicate the the film to my late wife. Her name was Carla Herrera Prats. Uh, she was an artist unto herself, an amazing artist as well, and sadly she uh, passed away from cancer in uh, December of 2019, uh, and, I, and I had started the project in June of 2019, so I had just kind of begun the project. I would shot a bunch of uh, footage, but I hadn't yet started to edit or anything like that, and then she got sick and eventually passed away, and so I had to kind of put the project on hold, and then of course COVID came, and so it kind of shut down a lot of things for a lot of people. Uh, and so I didn't really get to get back to the project until about 2021, um, but I'm glad I did. And she she knew that I was really excited about the project when when I began it, and so that's why I decided to uh, dedicate it to her. I'm sure she's so. proud of it. So I hope uh, so. I think so. I think she would be. Did you did you face any difficulties during your uh, the, the process of shooting everything? I didn't really, other than just you know my wife's health and then COVID. I was really lucky because the the bulk of the of the film is shot in in the town of Grand Rapids, which is in Michigan in the United States, and um, it's a fairly small town, and so you can kind of do things there without necessarily needing to get permission or or it was just kind of really easy to ask people about stuff and they'll help you. They're very friendly, helping people. Um, actually, kind of like in I find uh, in, in uh, Beirut that people are also very friendly and helping. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, would you tell us what's upcoming for you? What's are you working on something for the future? Um, I'm actually uh, in thinking through a new film. It'll probably be a shorter film, uh, but with my partner Lourdes, who's right over there. Uh, she's an actor also and a photographer. Um, but we're thinking about making a kind of another film. It'll maybe be slightly even more poetic. Uh, I'm kind of imagining like a 10 to 15 minute film uh, about she used to be she used to have a company a, pho a photography company and uh, just sort of talking about her relationship to that company and to intellectual property and just uh, the, the challenges that she's had in her own life. Um, so she's going to be sort of be playing herself in a way, but it will be like a stylized story about that. And I'm, I'm hoping I'm actually really excited about it. It'll probably be the most like a sort of fiction like film that I've made before. I usually make mostly documentary type stuff, so I'm kind of excited about that. Well, we're excited, and we hope that we will have you next year with us here. I as would well. I'd love to I'd love to show it. Yeah, we're, uh, well, again, thanks a lot for uh, joining us this year in the Lebanese Independent Film Festival. Thank you so much. And we wish you best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. It's really kind. Thank you.